Hello everybody, welcome to this guide and tutorial for the golden shot difficulty level is medium and I'm going to give you six shots in how to bring home the hole in one and some chests here in this guide. And in the end, before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also visit golfclashtommy.com for more golf clash related content. You can also get one of our packages which you can find on patreon.com slash golfclashtommy. Uh, tournament text guides, normal text guides, and just everything that you need to improve your game. So, we're going to play a version of the Gokashu Bay that we have been playing before. And therefore, we just need minor tweaks to get ourselves being very close to the pin. If you get the hole-in-one, you get the onyx chest. If you get the, uh, the yellow ring, you get the fire chest. Red ring, scarlet chest, uh, light blue ring, topaz chest, and Azure chest. We here have the dark blue chest, or the dark blue ring. We are going to play with the golden long iron, and we are going to play that one in maximum distance with a 20% over adjustment, which is 1.52 per ring. If you look at the side there, you see the VPR table, and the win per ring, or like the elevation is included so the only thing you need to do is to use the vpr table on the right hand side and you will get the correct measurement so as for an example if we have four miles per hour in win we're going to play it 2.6 rings so let's take a look here at the landing position this is a fairly easy landing position it is very important though to not add spin before you put uh, the put the landing position so the landing position first then you put the spin on and then you're gonna be fine because if you put the spin on it's going to be much harder for you to get the landing position right so you're going to have the ball guideline to the hole and then wherever your aiming point or like your target is then it's where it's going to be and so it's a fairly easy landing position uh, position to go with now you see this one is a uh, it's a just a thing that I put together myself real quick to just display the spin adjustments and the other stuff as well. The text guide from Tony will be listed in the video description down below also on golfclashtommy.com and then it's going to be proper quality. But this just to summarize with the spin in the end what we are going to adjust for. But let's take a look at the video and we are going to go over it and then we summarize. And then we let's see if we can't get this one to work in a really good way. So, shot number one. We look for the ball guideline to the hole. And then we're going to apply spin. 3.9 in headwind. We're going to play with three backspin and one left spin. 3.9 gives us 2.6 rings. According to the chart that we do have on the right. And as always for the golden shot. It is super important though. To hit perfect. If you don't hit perfect, you cannot expect to get close or getting the hole in one if you're not extremely lucky. But I would more say if you get it then close, then you're going to, uh, or in the hole with a great shot, you're most likely uh, had over adjust or under adjust. So just mi misadjust your shot. We do get the Topaz chest as the first ring here, or like the first chest to get. Uh, came in a little bit too hot, and that's something we do need to think about. Now we go and play with 3.5 bar backspin and 1.5 bar side spin to the left. Or more or less like 3.8 bars backspin. But look, I forgot that I need to put the landing position before I'm adding spin. So I quickly remove the spin and then put the spin back on. And that is so important as you will not be in the same spot if you add spin directly. You're going to be completely lost by looking for the landing position. So once again, landing position first, then spin, then adjust, then you take your shot. Hitting the ball perfect. I'm gonna get this ball to bounce on the fairway. We like that it's zoom in, but it seems too much to the right. It is a little bit too much to the right, but we still get uh, the yellow ring here and we get the fire chest. Let's see what we can get here. The rocket cards. We do get Malibu and we then get Sniper. We do have the Falcon and at least some Kingmakers. And the Kingmakers is the thing that is what we are looking for here, sure. We would love to get some good cards as well, but the Kingmaker is super valuable, especially when you are grinding. So, max backspin, and then we're going to go with one and a half bar side spin to the left, 
uh, with the same adjustment as before, like the ball guideline to the hole, which is going to be the key aspect here in this uh, in this guide. We adjust for 3.3 rings here, and then we take our shot with a perfect. And we're going to see how this one is going to come in. It does zoom out. It gives us the holy one. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Nice. Nice, nice. But then we do get the shot, Scarlet Chest. As we already have been getting uh, some holy ones on, on this one here. And I do believe it's definitely going to be uh, uh, a Good time for you. If you follow the guide, you're going to definitely have some good shots here and doing uh, a nice run, getting some cards and some kingmakers. Once again, we have the same type of win. The max backspin, then we go one and a half bar side spin to the left. 4.2 gives us 2.7 rings, is what we're going to adjust for. So, letting the uh, focusing on getting the wind arrow pointing straight to north, 2.7. And then we adjust and we pull back the ball into the circle and then we're going to take our shot and hopefully we hit perfect. We hit perfect which is nice. So do we like this one? We like the zoom in here but we do get a little bit too much to the right. Ah, So close. So 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 close. So now we do get the outer ring here, the Azure chest which is totally fine though. We have got the rest already. So the thorn and then we do have a kingmaker. And now 3.8 and we do have a max backspin and one right side spin. Went a little bit quick there but once again don't rem don't forget that we do have the uh, aiming point with the ball guideline towards the hole directly and then we do add spin. Perfect ball with zero seconds left off the clock. Bounce, bounce, bounce. A little bit too much right spin here. We do need to take away the side spin or at least only play with half a bar here. Get the Scarlet Chest in this uh, on this shot though. And we get Hornet with the Viper. And then we do have the Sahara. And last but not least, we do get some Kingmakers. Rushy, rushy, rush. Same type of win we've had before. And now I'm just adding this one due to actually the rest of becoming pretty good. But still the same type of structure. And we do get the hole in one here. But it is... It's still the same type of structure, B uh, landing position first with the ball guideline to the hole and then we add spin, we adjust and we take our shot. Onyx chest in the box and especially the kingmakers will be very valuable for us here where we do see the eight kingmakers and in the end here everybody I will say thank you so much for watching and we're going to summarize, for, uh, summarize uh, with the text guide here. Uh, like text guide the text guide is going to be this little chart that I made real quick uh, Tailwind max backspin and one bar left side spin and if we have a tailwind crosswind left to right We play a max backspin and one and a half bars left side spin tailwind and crosswind right to left Max backspin and half a bar of right side spin crosswind left to right four bars backspin and two bars left side spin and we have a crosswind right to left Four bars backspin and one bar right side spin. Headwind and crosswind left to right. 3.5 bars backspin and one and a half bar left side spin. Headwind and crosswind right to left. 3.5 bars backspin and one and a half bar right side spin. Headwind, 3.2 bars backspin and 0 0.5 or half a bar for left side spin. And we are going to obviously follow the chart as closely as we can. But I would definitely recommend that you take a look at the text guide that is made by Tony Richardson. Which you can find in the video description down below. And also on the website golfclashtommy.com. So... In the end, there we do have the spin adjustment, and we're gonna go a quick look at the landing position as well. And here, very, very, very important ball guideline to the hole, and then you add spin, and then you adjust, and then you take your shot. And the reason we do that, I want to be perfectly clear with that, is due to that we otherwise will be having a problem finding the landing position. And if we do not have the same landing position, doesn't really matter what we do, we're going to have different type of result and the guide is going to not be useful for you at all. So, when we have that said, don't forget to comment in the comment section below with what you got in your chest. Did you get the only one? Did you clear the board? Didn't you get anything? Let me know, I want to hear. Thank you so much for watching and Happy New Year from us in Team Tommy.